So moving on to the next question is about 30% of the population in Merced County is under 18 years of age. What policies and programs would you push to support young people? This is a one minute uh, one minute answer, and we're going to start with Jim and then pass it to, um, let's just go back and forth. Thank you. Uh, well, again, like I uh, spoke earlier, um, the youth is, is important to our community. Uh, it's important that we uh, uh, have good programs for them to um, to go into so they stay away from crime. Uh, I, I, again, outreach to uh, the families to see what uh, the youth need, um, getting involved in sports and um, agriculture, uh, job assistance if they need uh, help getting a job. Um, I think that we need to invest in our youth because they are the future of our, uh, of our county. Thank you, yes, uh, after school programs uh, as much as possible. Um, keep the kids away from gangs. Um, so including the library program, I, I supported um, a couple years ago the after school uh, teen um, center in uh, the, the library. So that's very important for uh, kids to stay there and do after school activities, especially like, like I said before, when the parents have to work, they got nowhere else to go, but at least they have a computer, they can uh, hang out with their friends and or you know read a book they can instead of looking at the, their phones. I think it's very important to uh, address all those and then uh, you know get a lot of the parents engaged to make sure that they uh, play sports. You know, I think sports, you know, I keep my kids, I kept my kids, uh, especially my youngest one right now, playing basketball. I think the keeping them uh, away from the streets, uh, you know, not, you know, like I said, with their friends, but also, um, you know, not the bad friends they hang out on, on the streets. I think it's very important to keep them involved. Thank you. I've said this before, our youth is our future. And I can say that our future is uncertain because we've failed them in some ways as leadership. So providing after school programs and other activities, sporting events, activities, venues where children and their families can participate, make them, make, provides opportunities for them to be holistic, um, and be supportive of them. Almost 70% of our school children were said are clinically obese. Statistics tell us that if a child is obese by the time they are 18 years old, then there's a 90% chance that the child will be obese the rest of their lives and filled with terrible health challenges and their ramifications. We must not only provide education, but also motivation for our children to eat better, and that includes exercise, and making better choices. However, government can't tell parents how to feed their children. Thank you. Thank you for that. Ne our next question is about uh, the aging population here in Merced. You'll have one minute to answer it. Just giving you the guidelines. So this is the question. You'll have one minute to answer it, and we're going to start with Maria first, and we'll go to your left. Okay. So about 12% of the population in Merced County is 65 years and over. What policies and programs would you push for to meet the needs of Merced seniors? Thank you. Our seniors deserve so much more than what they are currently receiving. They have given their lives to raising children, then grandchildren, and then some of them even great-grandchildren and beyond. They deserve for us to build them a fully ADA-compliant community where they are cherished and revered instead of locked away in nursing homes. I will propose grants for businesses more frequented by seniors in order to help bring their businesses into compliance with ADA. We also need to support nonprofits that center around our seniors in order to provide more vibrant options to our elders. Additionally, what I envision is, is working side by side with our child development centers so that those facilities are next to one another. I've seen it working with the youth and the smiles that the youth can bring and volunteering some time spending with our elders. Thank you. Thank you. We have um, 
in the county area agency on aging. That's very important because it has funding for a lot of programs for the seniors. Uh, meals on Wheels, they deliver uh, uh, meals to uh, communities all around the county. And I think it's very important to support that along with um, they can provide funding for nonprofits that will support the seniors, uh, get them engaged just like, uh, you know, just like kids, we make sure that we have programs available for them to be engaged, have uh, bingo and other uh, programs. So because like I said, uh, we all have family members that, that um, you know, they, they don't just want to stay home, especially now in the winter. They're in the summer, they can walk around, especially provide uh, better sidewalks around our county and, and cities, which are uh, broken and a lot of times, you know, I get calls about uh, uh, seniors falling down, so we need to improve our sidewalks. Thank you. Yes, in doing my research, I found the, the Mer Merced area on AGES, and they do have a lot of wonderful programs, um, adult protective services, information on nutrition, uh, caregiver support, and uh, they even have transportation for um, seniors to get around, uh, and insurance and tax counseling. I know that's kind of a daunting task these days. I think we need to continue to fund these programs, make sure that they're viable uh, uh, for seniors to take advantage of. Um, of course, the Meals on Wheels, you know, sometimes that's the only um, contact somebody gets in a day. Um, but I propose also having uh, maybe a youth mentorship program, uh, maybe through the schools, having youth that uh, actually take on a project, either uh, adopt a senior or a, a group of seniors and just go and visit and make sure that uh, not only that they're doing okay, but they have the things they need. Um, so I, I support that uh, those uh, issues would be would be do good. <laughs> Thank you. The next